At the risk of sounding ridiculous, a true revolutionary is guided by great feelings of love. One question, do you believe in love? Tus ojos sobre mí, aún puedo yo sentir, queriéndome expresar de tu alma la ansiedad. Es como estar aquí, queriéndote decir que mi alma será tuya para siempre. Y hoy no puedo reprimir una lágrima en mí, que mis labios te busqué inútilmente. Y tú, quién sabe dónde estás, quizá olvidaste ya que te curé. We are restoring all that uh, pieces using recycling wood. When we have a piece totally broken, we take the woods to use again. Or when we know something about a building who collapsed, we go there and we try to select the, the woods that we can use again. Of course, in furniture restoration. The United States had imposed an embargo, had an embargo that doesn't allow Cuba to trade. Y surgió la idea And then the idea, de you know, producir alimentos en la ciudad. About producing the food in the city. So the organic production here in Cuba surge por una necesidad. Uh, started with, uh, because of a need. Because of the embargo that the United States set over 50 years ago, Americans and Cubans have had little to no relationship. Because of this lack of interaction, we only know what we are taught in our history classes. So this trip was an opportunity for us to learn about Cuba the way they want us to. Together as a group, we promised to go to this country with an open mind and with a goal to learn. AB Cuba was a chance for us to open the doors and set a pathway for those to follow in our steps. We wanted those negative preconceived notions to die when we boarded that plane. This week helped us understand the passion behind Viva la Revolución and Viva Cuba. Uh, so far it's been amazing, it's so beautiful, um, all the buildings, some of them being restored, some of them being in their original state, it's just so amazing to see uh, how all these buildings come together in one little area. And yeah, it's just been really great so far, there's so much history and the culture itself is just so rich and there's so many components about it. Uh, our tourist asks us no questions and it's like we don't have any questions because everything she's telling is just so interesting that we don't have to ask about any details extra. <laughs> Cuba gave me a new perspective on the relationship between the U.S. and Cuba, because now we are learning about it through the eyes of the Cubans. We are now able to appreciate their culture and learn their struggles in a different way than what we get in our textbooks. The newfound knowledge and respect we've gained from this trip is like nothing else, because we were able to formulate our own opinions on subjects like free public health care, free education, and a different way of life, all based on experience and real dialogue that we were able to have with amazing people we met throughout the trip. So, we got to go to this really cool trade school today, and we got to make molds of these, which are essentially what we will see in um, Old Havana, where we are today. And they are just restoring some of the beauty and like the intricate beauty that we'll see. And it was really fun to get to like do that with them and to like get our hands dirty and like see like like how people our own age are like spending their time and like learning. Um, it was really great because we were able to see how resourceful they are and how sustainable they are with everything they use. Um, the water they wash their hands with is repurposed. Uh, all the wood we found out since Gua doesn't have their own source um, of wood to make furniture and refurbish furniture. A lot of times they'll go to demolition sites or furniture that can't be refurbished. They'll use it, they'll break it down and they'll turn it into um, wood that can be processed for another piece to restore something that isn't as bad or can be fixed. And it just really shows you how sustainable and how concerned they are with being resourceful with what they already have rather than you know going to other places in the world, um, tearing down resources and bringing it back to them. Uh, like they really try and use what they have here. What really 
surprised me was that when a building collapses and cannot be restored, they do not try to construct a new building, but instead they build a park for the neighborhood. There are also community centers which focus on promoting the importance of art. They are encouraged to go to these centers at a young age. Instead of cutting out programs to save money, the community willingly contributes to the art and music for the youth. Te diría lo que siento por dentro Cada vez que te besan me que trefe Been there for three years This is a sidewalk The school is 170 meters from here Children pass by there and back every day People pass by Nobody ever touches what we do. What? You're gonna find that says so much. Despierto muy temprano en la mañana. El sol aún acaba de salir. Un triste sueño que me ha desvelado. Ya no logra sonreír Como yo extraño tus besos Tu risa suave y tu desnudez Tus sueños y tus caricias con sabor a miel No encuentro la rosa que una vez yo what really captured my attention about Elam was when the administrator said that although it is called the Latin American School of Medicine, it should really be called the International School of Medicine because they accept students from all over the world from different cultures and religions. And not to mention that it is a free undergraduate and graduate education for um, all Cuban citizens who are looking for a medical education. Around 20 centimeters wide and then around 30 to 40 or 50 sometimes centimeters long. And that means that the plant. I think the most important fact about their agricultural system is that it is a system that was born out of need to feed the Cuban people, not by choice. The economical and political shift in the country put an end to industrial farming and gave birth to an all-organic and sustainable system. Because of this, Cubans now have lower rates of heart disease and higher life expectancy than they did 50 years ago. AB Cuba allowed us to push past our biases and experience humanity. As participants, we explored the education and public health in Havana, as well as the organic farming systems in Vinales Valley. We are so grateful to the people of Nuevo Vedado and Havana who graciously opened their doors to us at three different community projects to share their lives, culture, and rich history. We will always remember singing with the community, Venga la Esperanza, and hearing them express their hope in the past and what is to come. Viva Cuba! Caricias con sabor.